We're joined now by Real Housewives of Auckland's Angela Stone. She's running teen style and etiquette courses around the country. And she's here to tell us all about them. Welcome, Angela. Welcome Thanks, back. Guys. It's been a while. You. A while since we've had you on the sofa. Hello. I think last time was on a quite interesting circumstances. It sure was. So we obviously all know you from Real Housewives of Auckland fame. So tell us two things off the top of your head that the general public wouldn't know about you. Oh, good oh my. question. Okay, I'm on the, on the hop on this one. Um, I get up at five o'clock every morning and I used to march for 11 years. Wow. As a marching, isn't it? As a marching girl, yes. Do you have the big hat? And Absolutely. Of course oh, you have brilliant. the big hat. I love it. And why do, you get up at five? why do you get up at five? I'm at the gym at 5.30, five days a week, and then the gym opens at seven on a Saturday and Sunday, so that's when I roll in. I am so impressed with your dedication. <laughs> looking amazing. Well done. It's disciplined. Yeah. The right person to be running this yeah. course, I think. Okay, a little bit of background. You began modelling at the age of 14. You started up a modelling agency by the time you were 21, and you sold it by the time you were 28. That's Pretty right. impressive. So, you know, getting out of bed at 5 o'clock in the morning and everything that you've done, what drives you? My thing is about helping as many people as I possibly can. Now, the reason why I started my model agency right from the very beginning was because I had such an incredible experience as a young girl. I wanted to go overseas, come back to New Zealand, and then offer other young guys and girls the same opportunity that I had. So then this amazing agency, which is still running today in Christchurch, has just, it just became my life. It was amazing. Wow. Tell us about your association with the New Zealand Defence Force. Yes, well, for eight years, I used to go out to Burnham Military Camp every six weeks and work with the LSV. So LSV was... Uh, a training institution where young guys and girls would be sent, where they would be taken through like a whole series of grooming, presentation, survival skills, how to set themselves up for going into the workforce to change their lives ultimately. And it kind of came to an end while I was on the Housewives, unfortunately. But, um, you know, out of Housewives, there's been a lot of really great things happen as well. Yeah, and look, before we move on to that, I need to ask you this question. Did your yes. confidence take a bit of a hit after Housewives? Because it did get a little bit messy, didn't it? And if I was you, I probably would have started questioning some of the things in my life. Absolutely. Mike, I have to say, Housewives really changed my life. I'm very grateful for the experience. But Good. Wow, have <laughs> I just grown so much out of it. Great. I bet you yes. have. Yes, how, how, no, do that's pe good. Yeah, how do people generally react to you? Because you're very recognisable. Yeah, I think people think they know you when they see you, and it's not till they actually start talking to you and have a conversation with you. They go, actually, the way you were portrayed on TV is nothing like what I see in person, and that's reality TV. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, true. yeah. <laughs> As you guys know. Yeah. But, oh, so, oh, we're nothing like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you are. <laughs> You're pretty good. No, no, but that's good. So no regrets. You learned no. a lot from it, and you've continued, I guess, to take all your learnings and yes. put it into what you're doing now, which is... Well, exactly. So what happened while I was on the um, Real Housewives of Auckland, I, you know, most of you would have seen, I certainly went through a lot of, there was bullying, there was body shaming, there was a whole lot of stuff. And what happened was I had young girls, young women come through to me, private messaging me, emailing me saying, Angela, the same thing's happening to me. How do I deal with this? So you know what I did? I put my big girl pants on and I thought, you know what? I've been training young people. I've now got to just pull myself together and really start helping these young people. So out of this has been born this team style and etiquette course. And it's just about giving them confidence? Do you know, this course will ultimately change some people's lives. And I've, I spend a lot of time still in Christchurch, but I do reside here in Auckland. Um, I was recently in Christchurch and I've had some incredible sponsors step forward who have actually listened to my story, who have actually said to me, Angela, we will sponsor like 10 girls that parents might not be able to afford to do this. And this is what happened to me as a young girl. Mm. So, you know, Brilliant. the Flemington Lifestyle um, Subdivision out of Lincoln are now sponsoring girls, and I'm talking to schools, and we've got spots available for parents that li literally just can't afford it. That is awesome. Isn't that, that is so great. Oh, now, incredible. thank you, Angela, <gasps> for stopping by. We could talk to you for a lot longer about this because uh, teenagers, yes. it's an uh, interesting well, stuff for me. is so important yes. too, isn't it? Yeah. That is. Okay, it makes sense. Um, you can check out Angela's website for more details about her teen style and etiquette courses, which she is taking around the country over the next couple of months. Good work. Great yeah. to chat. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Angela. So nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs>